It's really a pleasure to join you to talk about the future of Saab. And the best place to start is with the great products coming out these days. The 9.3 sports sedan last fall, the new 9.3 Aero earlier this year, and now the 9.3 convertible, which is in particular one of the most important launches for Saab in recent years. It represents what Saab represents. Individuality and independence, impeccable styling, great engineering, terrific handling. And it really confirms Saab's leadership in the premium convertible segment. Together with a sports sedan and aero, it's a great start to the renewal of Saab's product lineup. In the years ahead, we plan to grow Saab aggressively in key markets around the world. And we'll do it by broadening Saab's product portfolio and competing in new segments. And that's in essence our mid and long term plan for Saab, to grow its product lineup, grow its volume, grow its profitability, and grow its role in GM's global portfolio of brands. Now this is a challenging assignment. Frankly, it's going to require some fundamental changes in how we approach Saab's business, including, very importantly, better integration of Saab with GM as a whole. It's taken us too long at Saab to fully leverage all that the GM Global family can offer in everything from cost savings and engineering efficiencies to new and quick-to-market product opportunities. But I can assure you that the Saab team is now focused on fully using what I call the GM opportunity to ensure its success in the marketplace and on the bottom line, while at the same time building and enhancing the Saab brand. Finally, let me say that I'm confident we now have the team in place and the plans in place to grow Saab. We are selling more vehicles this year compared to last year. Even so, we are still a loss-making company, and that obviously has to be changed. But it has to be changed by addressing the top line, that is, sell more vehicles, having a broader product range, better offer to our customers, but also to take out cost everywhere in the company. The Saw brand is very strong. One of the challenges that we have is to expose the Saab brand to a broader customer base. Uh, how do we do that? We do that by broadening our customer uh, offer when it comes to products and having more dealers and better dealers uh, to sell vehicles to our customers. When we are combining that also with, with reducing cost, that's a win-win for our dealers and for Saab Automobile. We are reducing development compared to what we had last year, but we are also taking major steps to get synergies with the rest of GM's European Union, and thereby reducing the overall engineering cost. We have put the 9.5 into one shift operation instead of two shifts before. That is dramatically reducing cost. We will, end of this year, beginning of next year, also to merge final assembly between the 9.3 and 9.5. So all in all, we are running a lot of efficiency programs within manufacturing that will reduce cost. One of our challenges is to improve the income side for Saab. One key element there is to have a broader product range. The new 9.2, as we showed a few weeks back in New York, will improve our ability to address the North American market that will also give uh, Saab Automobile more strength in able to support our dealers, for instance, in Europe. We would like to have an organization from Saab viewpoint that is better supporting our dealers so our dealers can better take care of our customers. Clearly there are quite many things that we can do centrally versus our different sales units in different countries such as information technology and so on. And we are addressing all these elements in able to reduce cost and strengthen our ability to support our dealers. We have been selling around 20,000 convertibles worldwide uh, in the past. The new convertible is, is obviously even stronger product versus competition. So our ambition is clearly higher than that.
I see more customers buying Saab. That means that uh, hopefully around say 200,000 new Saab customers is coming in or buying new Saabs uh, every year. That's basically also where we have to be enabled to support our continuing uh, uh, nurse, if you wish, of a broader product program. You will see more products than out in the market as well. Hopefully you will also see stronger dealers, stronger dealer profitability so that they can support our customers uh, even better in the future. And you will see a Saab that is earning money and not losing money. Even if it's a very tough time right now, I'm very optimistic about the Saab brand and its future.